Welcome to What's My Scene. Today we have with us Norman Blake from Teenage Fan Club. Hi, Mary. How are you? How are you doing? Good, I'm lucky. I know, I'm sorry about this morning. I don't know if you yeah, had what no, was no. going on, one of those things, but, um, but there you go. You have a bit of a crazy morning. I got my COVID uh, vaccination yesterday. So I'm, I'm feeling a bit kind of shivery. I can definitely feel I'm really? aching a little bit, but oh. I'm totally fine. I mean, I feel fine, but I can, de you know, I know that there's something going on oh. uh, with my immune system. So anyway, I'm happy to have it, you know, really, yeah. really, you know, yeah. really good. So. Um, are you in lockdown at the moment? Or... Yeah, yeah, sort of. It's although I think uh, more, more restrictions are being lifted, you know, in, you know, uh, with each passing week. So, yeah. Yeah, um, so yeah, here in Scotland at the moment there is still a lockdown. I think the twenty sixth. So yeah, it was just a few days away. Things are eased again. Uh, so you know, hopefully it won't be too long before we're out of this thing. Yes. I mean, it's, you know, the, the the pandemic's been in terms of deaths has been really bad here, but. You know the the vaccination program has went really well, so Good. I think there's some, something like over fifty percent of the adult population have now been vaccinated, and, and I'm one of the latest ones. Yeah, there you go. Well done. Yeah, you weigh up the the risks, and there are no. I mean, there are absolutely none. You know, or, or they're very minimal. It's funny. I was talking to the the nurse who administered the the vaccination yesterday. And she said to me, she's like, you know, it's like, uh, she's like, there's more risk of blood clotting from taking paracetamol. You know, there's more, you know, she, she, she it's just crazy that people, you know, are you kind know, of concerned. Uh, you know, there is a minimal risk, but there is with any kind of drug. Every drug can affect, you know, a small group of people adversely, you know. Yeah. But this, you know, it's, it's absolutely safe. And, uh, you, you know, it's like, um, but yeah, yeah. So everyone should, like, but like I say, it's great. It seems to be going well, yeah. you know, and, you know. The numbers have got, you know, there are the, the cases are dropping too. So hopefully we won't be too it won't be too long until we're out of this. Yeah, fingers yeah. crossed. Because we actually have uh, we have a show booked uh, a festival show in uh, August, I think it is. And we, they they are very confident that it's going to go ahead. And then Scotland. we have a tour the end Scotland. Yeah, yeah. It's called Doing the Rabbit Hole. And then we have a tour booked for September. And the our agent is confident that's going to go ahead, as are the promoters. So I think it will. I think we you know, you know, travel down to us if you like. Oh yeah, no, we, we would we would love to do that. Unfortunately, I don't think they, they I don't think you're going to let us in at the moment. We <laughs> you are. Know. We are. Tell you, we the, the other reason that we really want to come down to Australia is because last time I was there, I lost I lost my voice. I had I got a laryngitis. Where it was a <laughs> strangest thing. We'd flown via Bali, and I don't know, we'd eaten something there at the airport. But when I you know, we where did we fly? Where did we fly into? We flew into Perth. It was I think actually. Remember we got off the plane and I just didn't feel good at all. And so for a couple of days I, I, I was almost like I had a flu or something like that, you know. Yeah. And then uh, I, we went to sound check and I could talk, but as soon as I tried to sing, there was this screeching noise. Um, I was like, well, I have no idea what's going on here. However, so, um, by the time you got to Melbourne, you were okay. So I was, yeah, I just about got through it in the end. But, um, but yeah, that was quite the experience. So, yeah. you know, there you go. <laughs> There's some festivals coming up with international artists, but they have to actually quarantine for two weeks and then. Yeah, I would happily do that to, get, to, make it to come to, to Australia. Chris. I'll just talk. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, that would be that would be pretty good. We would. We, I think we could do that. Yeah, pretty sure we could do that. You know. You're releasing this album and you're not touring it. That must feel really strange. It's very odd for us. You know, this is the first we've been together okay, well, 32 years now. And I think that we've obviously gone for the longest period without playing a show. It's over a year now, a year and a half or something, or a year and three months. And it, yeah, and obviously when you have an album out right around now, we would have been out on the road. We would have been touring in the UK at the moment and yeah. ahead of the release of the record. So... It's been frustrating and, you know, but there's obviously nothing we can do about it. You know, just the, the show, all the shows were cancelled. In fact, we had to postpone them twice, uh, the, what, the, what would have been the tour. But like I say, September, we'll be back out and hopefully things will quickly so. return to normal. You know, we can f go further afield because I know that in September we can definitely play in the UK. But in terms of br uh, branching out into other European countries, I'm not sure at the moment. I don't think... That will happen for a little uh, while. The vaccine rollout is going a lot better for you guys than us here. Uh, 
Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, right. I mean, I think we, we got many things wrong as a country, but that part, that part where we go, <laughs> we did really well, you know. And I, I got, just so you know, I got the, the, the AstraZeneca one <laughs> yesterday. That's the one I got. But yeah. no, it's been it's been quite impressive, the rollout of the vaccination programme. So you're there is like that. I can, you know, I definitely, there's something going on in my immune system, and I can tell. You know, yeah. but um, but yeah, it's I think a couple of they say a couple of days you feel a bit like this and then you yeah. back to normal. So, yeah, so there we are. <laughs> oh, thanks, thank you. Um, so you were lucky with this album. You actually had done most of it before COVID hit. Yeah, yeah, we were actually, and um, we in fact we don't done all of the recording, but well, pretty much all of the recording. Uh, a place called Clouds Hill in Hamburg, a studio, nice studio that Raymond found. Uh, and yeah, we were there for I don't know, a few weeks. Um, got all of the, 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 you know, all of us together in the room, put in all the tracks, all the backing tracks, did most of the vocals. And then uh, as the, the, the pandemic sort of kicked in, we were able to mix at Raymond's home studio. He has got a nice set of speakers and stuff. So we, and we did some more vocal overdubs. Um, so yeah, we were lucky to get, the, because we've got friends and bands who were planning to record and go into the studio just as the pandemic happened and they had to cancel the studio team. So, you know, for those guys, their album will have been put back even further. You know, I know that happened to Camera Obscura, the band Camera Obscura, who Francis, our drummer's their manager. So, he, you know, yeah. um, so they had, they've had to postpone. And so that really, you know, obviously is, um, is a massive spanner in the works for what they were planning to do, you know. Yeah. But so we were lucky and we got it mixed at Raymond's place and then, We've sort of been sitting on it for a while because normally we'd be working right up to the deadline or one of those bands, you know, it's like, ah, and beyond. Um, but this time we, we were finished ahead of time, which meant we could sort of tweak the mixes until we were happy with them. Mm -hmm. So that we had, that we were afforded that luxury. Um, and then we've, the yeah. album's been, yeah, the album has been yeah. done since October or something like that. Okay. So, so it, it's yeah. nice. We've got, I think, another 10 days, we're at 20th. So at 10 days time on the 30th, the album's released. So. Amazing. That's right. I've pre-ordered mine. <laughs> oh, th thank you. Well, actually, I think actually uh, um, later today we're going to have the, the finished copies delivered. So unfortunately, I can't show you at the moment, but I think we're getting the vinyl today to yeah. have a look at it anyway. So we'll get our copies up. So, so, so I'm excited going, to see that. I was going for the pink one, but then the green one. Oh, yeah. Find print and I went for that one. We've signed all the prints. We did that a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. But yeah, so we're going, obviously it's got a die cut sleeve. So we're really hoping that the, you know it matches up. We're going to find out soon. I think it will. I think it will. You know, but we're slightly worried there that the, yeah, the, the die cut. We're going to have to put that together and you know <laughs> work out all the you know the do the sums for it. You know, but, but anyway, so we're, it's great that the album's finally arriving. We got CDs last week, so they're all manufactured and yeah. and yep. Yeah, so just all all good to go. Fantastic, and you've also got cassettes. We did cassettes, yeah. I, I think it's just funny people, you know, there has been this thing, a lot of kids are into cassettes yeah. just because, you know, it's the retro thing, you know. <laughs> and actually, um, yeah, they're pretty nice cassettes, I suppose, aren't they? You know, they look nice, they look cool, you know. I think kids just like the, 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 the yeah. thing, you know, that the, these two reels spinning around is kind of <laughs> novel for them as opposed to streaming something, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, so multiple formats. I suppose it's funny, it's, it kind of becomes more and more ironic as we're now in a, all in our 50s. Some of us are approaching 60. Uh, but um, that we, we're in a band called Teenage Fan Club. You do get the odd look at immigration sometimes. Well, you know, like, what's the band called? But uh, ironically, um, I don't think any of us were teenagers when we started the band. I think oh, we were all 20, right. 21 or whatever, or 22. So, so uh, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, it's stuck. I think it's gotten to the point where it's just a name, isn't it? You know, always yeah. kind of, you, you just like Sonic, always like Sonic Youth, you know, that just, it's just a name, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's amazing. I suppose it's amazing for us really that we're still here making albums after all this time. You know, this is, I can't quite, I think it's either album 10 or 11, can't quite remember, you know, but you know, it's, we've been lucky that we've been, we've been able to do it for all this time. And, yeah. and it's, um, and we still enjoy it. You know, it's, um, yeah. it, I, people, people often say to me, they say, what are your hobbies outside of the band? And I, I, when I have a think about it, I'd say, well, I like buying records and I like guitars. So, you know, I get, I'm getting to do my dream job because, I, you know, I, I love music and I love playing. And so it's, it's, it's amazing to be able to still be doing this and just about make a living from it, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're lucky. It's great. And even though you've been around for 30 odd years um, and 11 albums, it still hmm. sounds so fresh. Yeah, I think, still, uh, yeah. Still teenage fan clubs, we can still tell it's you. 
I honestly mean this. I think if we made a record and we didn't think it was up to scratch, we wouldn't release it. I think we still, you know, we would know, hopefully we would know when to, to, to you know, to quit. But we still, we haven't reached that point yet. We still feel excited about making music. I still feel excited about going into a studio. You know, it's still as exciting as it was the first time. So if we get to the point where we're, we're jaded and we're not enjoying that, then we'll quit, you know. But that, that I can't see that happening uh, anytime soon, you know. So, we, yeah, we still... We're, we, we, we feel, we feel privileged and lucky to be able to write, you know, a, write songs and then be able to record those in good studios and then release them on albums. Amazing. But we're always flattered by that, that people are interested and would want to listen to us. But yeah, you know, we've, there are people too that we've known for all these years that we met 30 years ago and who we still meet up when we come into their town or we we'll meet up with them when we come into their town. But but yeah, it's, I think we've, we've uh, people who like the band have stayed with us, you know, and and um, and it's yeah, but we, we love it when people are enjoy, enjoy the show. We, we also think it's very important that you know we're aware that people have paid money to buy you know for the you know and uh, they've paid money for the tickets, and so we always think feel it's important to try and do do the best show that we can. You know, I mean, it's amazing how many bands are a bit jaded and don't think that way really. You know, so um, but but we do. We're really appreciative of it. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you for that. Because we, oh, no, no. we are music lovers in Australia and we appreciate you guys. So thank you. Oh, great. Oh, no, not at all. Not, not at all. Alexi, Alexi, we're looking forward to coming back for oh. sure. Yeah. Um, with this new album, um, it's quite a personal one. It feels like a very personal album. Yeah, I mean, it is. We we write. We always write about what's happening in the in our lives. We you know, or, or we write about the world and how we see it. You know, and then just unfortunately, from my perspective, I went through a, a, a relationship breakup, and mm. you know, um, we've always tried to just be honest about you know, um, you know, what's going on in our lives, and so the, inevitably, I was going to channel some of that into my writing. And it, I mean, I'm absolutely fine now, I'm really okay, but you know, I did, have, I was going through a bit of a tough time a couple of years back, um, but it was cathartic for me, you know, it felt good to be able to express how I was feeling, channel it somewhere, you know, I mean, we're not the kind of band that we never discuss songs, so we, we wouldn't sit in the studio and talk, what was that one about, you know, we don't do that, we just, we, you know, we're just accepting of each other, what each other are doing, you know. Um, and you know, and we so we've never had a, 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 an internal discussion about what the songs are about, you know. But but um, yeah, you, you know, it's like because we write about what we're experiencing, and sometimes those you know they, they can be the, the topics can be sad, you know, or you know, um, and also I think as you get older too, um, more we, we write a little a bit more about death. So you know, like I mean, you know, it's, you can you, so, you can sort of see it off in the horizon there, like all oh, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, you know, inevitably that kind of crops up too, um, but, you know, um, but it's, Alexi, we, we, it's nice to have a, a somewhere that you can channel your feelings. Mm, definitely. Um, and it feels so real and people can connect to your songs that way as well. Uh, well, I think so, because we're, we're normal people. We experience the world in the way, the same way that the majority of other people do and the same, the same things happen in our lives that happen in other people's lives so I think people can connect with the, the, so the themes but very often because you know they have maybe had similar experiences in life. In saying that are there any that were extremely challenging for you to record? Do, do you know no, no, the, none no it wasn't it was uh, I think it was all um, we, we wouldn't discuss anything really maybe sometimes you'll get in, I mean there is always the thing that every and we still feel this way every time you, you sing the vocal for the first time. It's always a slightly stressful moment because you're sort of giving something away. And, you know, there's everyone else is sitting behind the glass looking at you. And so you have to, you know, hear my words, you know. So that's always a bit of a stressful moment. But yeah. but no, um, I think we, um, there was a good, uh, there was a, a, a good vibe in the studio. Everyone was really feeling good about making the record. Um, and it was a pleasurable experience, even though some of the themes are quite sad. It was the, the actual process was was enjoyable, you know. Um, and uh, so it, it, it wasn't difficult in that sense. Only in the sense that you're having to sing for other people, and that's always a little bit embarrassing. We're all, all of us are. A bit, I think everyone is a bit self conscious about singing, aren't they? Well, some people aren't. I suppose there are some <laughs> people, like egomaniacs, who love the sound of their own voice. Um, I always thought it's funny when you hear an artist. You hear an artist say somebody asks, well, what are you listening to at the moment? And they say, oh, I'm just listening to my own music at the moment. That to me is like, that, that would be, a, that's masochistic as far as I'm concerned. I get more pleasure, 
I get more pleasure listening to other people's music than I do my own. Um, so, uh, but it's funny. I always think it's funny when you, you know, some people are pretty narcissistic. You see them retweeting images of themselves and video <laughs> clips. I try to avoid those things. Like, again, looking at photographs of the, you know, it's, it's actually the only thing that sort of kept me in some reasonable kind of shape. Because sometimes I look at the photograph and I'm like, oh dear, <laughs> you know. So, um, but yeah, it's always you always feel a bit self conscious looking at images of yourself. But it's part of you kind of have to do it, you know. You have to go out and say something if you want people to buy your records, and you know. Uh, you know, we hope that people will, will buy the albums and like the albums because it means that we may, we can maybe make another one. Um, but you know, you, 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 there's you, you know, like so you, you are hope there people other will ideas. Them. Are there other ideas forming? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We've thought uh, when we've spoken about actually going into the studio again soon, uh, just because there's been such a big break and we've not been able to tour. We could because you you know we want to be creative and I think actually the longer we've been around there have been some quite big gaps between our albums and we want to change that you know we feel that we should be doing more work you know um, uh, and being more productive we'd like to get an album out every couple of years as opposed to every four which is kind of what we do you know uh, we just want to keep doing something and being creative because it's a lot of fun you know it's amazing and you get to travel you know and see places and you know experience life you know so. So we, we the, and the only way to do that is if you make new music, you know, and, and always kind of push yourself and try and come up with something. You always, you're always trying to come up with something that's, um, or you're trying to improve on what you've done before, you know. And you, you know, songwriting is a craft, and you, you know, you, you, you're, you're always aware of what things you're good at, and then maybe you can work on other aspects. But that's why I, how I see it anyway. You know, I'm always trying to push myself and see what I can do, arrangement wise, that may be a bit different than what I've done before. Fantastic. Speaking of, you know, travelling the world, and have you got any impressions of Australia? Well, we've always had a, had a, a very enjoyable time in Australia, you know. Um, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think just the, the scale of the country is amazing. I'd love to see more of the interior um, of the country, you know, um, you, you know, and, and the outback, or whatever, because that's the thing that you don't get to see as a, as a tourist, you know. Mm. Um, um, but, yeah, Melbourne's a, a, a great city. That's a city we like very much. And, uh, you know, we always have fun. But, like I said, I'd like to travel, you know, more as a... Because I've always been working or playing, you know. So it'd be really nice to have a, a, maybe a drive around the country. I've, I've read a couple of books of people sort of driving across the country, you know, and this is like Cooper PD and things like that, you know, all these, you know, it would be amazing to see things like that, you know. Yeah, um, it's incredible that place. I read, I did, I read a book about someone who was traveling and he went, he went there. It's mining, wasn't it? Yeah. They, they, yeah. Yeah. Opal. yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so seeing things like that would be incredible. And actually uh, the Northern Territories, I haven't really, I haven't seen any of that, you know, would be incredible to see that some climate and landscape. Yeah. So, so, so hopefully at some point, you never know. I've flown over a little route. I've flown over it before. It looks incredible in a plane. Yeah. I remember looking down and thinking, that, what, what is that? That's <laughs> unbelievable. It's yeah. quite something, isn't it? But yeah, they stop people from clambering on it. Then it's respectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. amazing. But yeah, that's a place. Um, Alex, I've only seen that from 30,000 feet, but it looked pretty impressive. Well, I hope that happens very soon. With your songs, um, I know, I'll just go back to home. Yeah, um, sure. Where is home for you now? Home for me right now is uh, here. I'm actually staying at my folks' place in, in near Glasgow, just outside Glasgow. Um, and so I'm, I've lived in Canada for many years, but I'm in the process of moving back here. Uh, it makes more sense for, with the band anyway. You know, it was quite, it was difficult. I mean, it was, I was, you know, getting plenty of air miles, you know, and, uh, you know, I've amassed quite a number of those, but, um, but it was, it wasn't easy coming back and forth regularly, um, you, you know. I mean, I'm not complaining, though, because, you know, you, can, you can't really complain about getting to travel and do things. So I'm, I'm not complaining, but it was a little more difficult for the band to do things, maybe on a whim, you know, like one-off festival shows in Spain. Although I've done a few, few of those, you know, I'd fly over, do the show and then fly home. Mm -hmm. But, you, you know, we couldn't, we, we had to do less of those kind of things. So, so with me being back here now, it's much easier for the band. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to what you guys bring out next. Yeah, no, definitely. Listen, what kind of guitar is that that you've got there? Oh, wow. I have, um, one of my friends, he is in the band The Atlantics. Okay, and, yeah. Um, this is his custom-made guitar. Oh, amazing, wow. 
So nice. Yeah. That looks amazing. It, caught, it just caught my eye when I was yeah. in the corner. I'm, I could see. Yeah. yeah, I just saw, I just saw the head stuck and I thought, oh, is that? Yeah. You know? Well, I'll bring it for you next time you can play it. Sounds great. <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. I'll, have to have a, I'll go on that. That would be amazing. The Atlantics were like a surf guitar band. Yeah, okay. I, got, I, could, I was thinking that was probably what they were going to be, just looking <laughs> at that guitar. Yeah. Nothing like you guys. Nothing. I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless. Oh no! Listen, I'm pretty hopeless too. Raymond's the Raymond's the the virtuosic <laughs> guitar player in our band. I can do the chords. <laughs> I usually stick to those. I do the odd solo, but it usually goes horribly wrong. About oh, you know, the soloing at you know, home. Wow. Well, that that's the, the, the first. There are two solos because there's the one that this, we have the dueling guitars, uh, and I do play one of those. But the, the outro solo is Raymond uh, on his own, and I'm just kind of holding down the chords. But um, but yeah, it was nice doing the little. Uh, the, we come up with the idea for the dueling guitar thing. We thought, is that too much? And we thought, oh, let's just do it. Let, you know, let's go for it. It's fun. We had fun playing it, you know, doing the little harmony guitar thing. And we thought, oh, yeah, we'll just keep it in, you yeah. know. Um, so, yeah. I can't wait to fun. see that live soon. Yeah, well, I can't wait to work out how to play it live. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just about know it, you know. But it's funny because we haven't played in such a long time that we... We are going to have to relearn some of the songs on the album because we haven't played them in the you know, ages, you know, yeah. since we've been in the studio actually. So, yeah. so but that'll be fun. That, I think we're looking at actually starting to rehearse again soon, you know, maybe in about a month or so, so that we'll get together, and that's going to be great, you know, when we we do that, you know, because it's been like it's been a year and something, some something, three four months since we played. It's amazing, isn't it? So. It feels so much longer, but yeah. Yeah, it's aspect. been uh, it's been quite the yeah we no one we didn't really see this coming, did we? But like so, hopefully we'll, we're a year from now will be this will be behind us. I'm, I'm confident it will be. I think it will be. You know, That'd and we can start traveling around again. And uh, yeah. it's, it's certainly been chastening. You know, but yeah, it's been quite something. It has brought us all together, hasn't it? You know, as, yeah. a, as a species, as human beings, you know, it's it's a, a leveler. You know, it can affect anyone. You know, yeah. and and that that I mean, if that makes people think about their fellow human beings in a more positive way, then that's a that's a good thing. You know, yeah, that can come out of this. Your song, I'm more inclined. Yeah, it's, um, it might be a bit of a you know permission for you. I could live in isolation. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's funny because a lot of the lyrics in this album, people have said to us, did you write this, these songs about the pandemic? And it's like, it's co coincidental, you know? But yeah, that could, it was, it was kind of prescient or something, wasn't it? You know, yeah. I wasn't, I, did, I wasn't, I didn't sort of see it coming. <laughs> you know, there wasn't a, I didn't have visions of uh, what was, you know, what was going to happen. But uh, but yeah, it's, people have mentioned that to us. Uh, yeah. And so it's just, it's quite ironic, really, just, but it's purely coincidence. Mm. Um, well, it does seem like a bit of a love song to me. Yeah, it is. That that one is. Yeah, that's about you know. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, reconciliation and you know. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. That, that was. I was pleased with the way that one came out. You know, yeah. I'm happy with the, the mix yeah, on that one. That was one of my favourites. Oh, thanks. thanks. I've, got, I've got a key change. I always like if you get a key change in there, I'm always quite happy. <laughs> I've not done it many times, but that's got one. <laughs> flips up a key <laughs> in the, into the solo it was up a key in the solo and changes key in the solo and what about um, Endless Arcade why did you choose that as the title yeah well you know it's funny because it's one of Raymond's songs but um, when we were looking at a, a round for titles I, I think I suggested it. I said that would that uh, we like the combination of the words mm -hmm. and in the song it sort of references a journey, life being a journey an endless arcade or whatever and we like the imagery and it just seemed to be those two words together yeah. seem to fit for this collection of songs you know it's always difficult when you're trying to think up come up with a title but that one I, I just I thought that looks that looks really nice written down and and so that it was as simple as that we just we chose that you know and okay. uh, but yeah it's from it's from Raymond's song yeah and the artwork is brilliant oh thanks we, we like it too we, we yeah. that was a guy called uh, Hugh Evans who is an artist in his own right. He um, has a band called H Hawkline. Uh, and uh, he, Hugh also, he um, plays with Kate Le Bon's band and he's done the artwork for a lot of her things. So uh, he's a friend of Eros who plays keyboards with us. Right. And uh, we'd, we were look, uh, looking around for, you know, artwork. And uh, I think I happened to see a couple of things that Hugh had done. And we asked him, you know, if he would come up with something. And that was one of the first things he sent. And we yeah. said, we like it, <laughs> you know? So yeah, we, we, we love the artwork too. I mean, I think it's maybe when it splits. Did you we, no, we, 
No, we didn't actually. We just asked him to, we sent him the LP, we sent him the music and yeah. then just asked him to come up, generate some images and he came up with that one, you know, and so, and we said, yep, that's, that looks great. Let's go for it. Brilliant. So, yeah, yeah, yeah you're really it happy all with fell it. fell into place. Yeah, it really did, actually. I think we're happy with the album, you know. Um, it's, um, you know, it's always satisfying if you can come come up with something and be happy with it at the end of the day, you know, because it's, it's not always possible to do it. You know, you might, you listen back and, and think that you could have done something slightly differently. But I think with this one, we're quite happy with the way it's come out, you know. Yeah, and you it's, we haven't, and it's all, yeah, well, it's always difficult to listen to your own music. But this one you know because of course you hear it sometimes if you're doing a, an in-store or whatever but this one I've, I'm, I've still been able to listen to you know and think okay yeah that sounds that sounds fine that sounds you know like we, it sounds like we did what we wanted to do we set out to, set out to do I've only got two more questions to go oh. firstly how would you describe your sound in food form in food form oh well that's a that's a very difficult question um it's a, some kind of lasagna I think <laughs> There's a solid, uh, so, some solid layers of pasta. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I, I'm just sketching here. Yeah. Uh, I would, yeah, I'm just, lasagna is the, the, the food that springs to mind. <laughs> yeah. Layers, layers upon layer of uh, some, uh, some slightly sweet tomato sauce. And, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so there I we are. I love it, I love it. Um, yeah. <laughs> finish it off with a glass of red and you'll be fine. Yeah, well, absolutely. It goes, goes without saying. <laughs> And the last question, what is your scene? What is my scene? Um, well, um, so music scene or, or just time. my scene? Yeah. Oh, well, I like walking, you know, and I like to read. So that's kind of my scene, you know. Um, yeah, and I, but I like, like I say, I like guitars. And I like buying records too. So music is absolutely the centre of everything that I do. Um, and like I say, I'm lucky that I get to do what I enjoy and what I get pleasure from, you know, um, it's mm -hmm. really, really lucky to do that. But I, I love reading. I really like reading. I like that you can go, it can take you somewhere and, you know, and no matter where you are, it can, you can go into a different world and that's amazing. And you, it doesn't need batteries, you know, unless you've got a, a you know, a tablet or whatever, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So I like that. I like reading a lot, you know, I like the Thank journey you. that that takes me on. What have you yeah. been reading lately? I'm, I'm reading actually a book at the moment called Beyond Black by Hilary Mantel. And she, so, which is really good, actually. It's about uh, it's about a medium, you know, and uh, and this woman who uh, who who has come along as a client and then becomes her assistant, and uh, and it's about some of the spirits that live with them. It's pretty funny, but it's also very dark as well. It's got wow. all sorts of. But she's an amazing writer. She um she wrote the uh, what do you call it the uh, oh, what they called again uh, I, the books about Henry VIII and Thomas Cromwell. Uh, you know the Wolf Hall oh, books. Yeah. She, wrote, she wrote those, yeah. and she's really she's really good. So that's what my, my, I've been reading lately. It's got a couple of chapters to go. In fact, I'll probably finish it in the next couple of hours. Fantastic! Well. That's a good recommendation. I'll we'll have a look yeah. At it's worth it's um, worth looking out. You would enjoy. It. Oh. I, I love it. I love that you can just stick them stick in your pocket, and you know, it's just great. You've got, you know, you've got this little escape wherever you are. So.